Hi, it's Steve again. This is a, another short tutorial just to show you how to use the Java Doc documenting system uh, for creating documentation for your code. If we just look at this bubble sort program that was created earlier, you'll see that when it was created, comments were put in the code and also some tags like this param and this author here. Well, this is Java Doc, and what we can do now is just add to that. So first of all, let's um, add some code up here and another parameter tag. So we'll replace that with this code here. So you see that as a standard comment, I have that. I've just improved the author tag and I've added a version number as well. What I can then do is for the random array generator method down here, I can add a, another block of code like this. I can go to source and format just to tidy that up. And you'll see that there's a, a standard explanation and then one parameter for each of the input parameters, min, max and length with a explanation and also a description of the um, return that comes back. You can do the same for the uh, other method down here. Paste that in, format the source. So that's how you add the comments in for Javadoc. Just save that code. Now before I actually generate the Javadoc, I may just want to change some of the settings for that. So if I go to the properties of the project down here, and then there's under build documenting you'll see that by default include private and package private members is not to be included so we'll add that in and also I have just added a version parameter so I'll add that in and I hit OK so those parameters are these are tags really are these these things with the ampersand the other ones you can have are things like the uh, whether it's deprecated uh, exceptions uh, and so on. To actually run Java Doc, you go up to the Run menu and select Java Doc. And what that does is it whirs away and creates a web page in the dist folder or the distribution folder of your project alongside the jar file. And if I just bring the web page that it's created across, we can see uh, we have the class described here with all the various methods, constructors. There we are. So for example, the random array generator has the min, the max, and the length, and a description, and what's returned, and the same for the bubble sort. So if you combine choosing sensible names for your variables and your class names with code for Javadoc, effectively the code is self-documenting and you simply create that Java doc to accompany the code. 